Hey everyone and welcome to another video. This is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to set up your iPhone home screen. I'm sure a lot of people know that the new iOS 14 has come with a lot of features and one of them is being able to customize your own home screen. So that's what I'm going to show you guys. It's very easy and uncomplicated so I hope this video helps you out somehow. Now as you can see this is my home screen. This is how it looks like. You can design as much as you want but I only did my home screen because I think that's enough. So in order to get the design that I have you need two apps one is widget smith and the other one is shortcut so let's start with widget smith first so this app allows you to basically use widgets um, I only have one widget here which is the calendar one you can add all kinds of different widgets so let's open it up once you downloaded it you're just gonna click on it and open it up then there's three types of widgets that you can use there's a small one, a medium one, and a large one. So the one that I use is the medium one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and recreate the one. So I just tap on add medium widget, and then I'll just tap on the widget, and then again, tap onto the widget. And now there's like all different types of styles that you can use, all different kinds of widgets. You can even add pictures or your calendar or whatever you want. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the one that I use, which is the day and date. And then I can also choose the font. I personally chose the New York font. And then you can also choose the font color. The one that I used was gray. So I'm just gonna tap it again. And then you can also change the background color. Um, I chose pastel purple because I felt like it matched my wallpaper. Once you did that, you're just gonna go back onto your widget and then click on to save and now that you have your widget you're just gonna need to add it onto your home screen so you do this by going onto the edit home screen mode and then you just tap on the plus on the top left of your phone and then you're just gonna scroll all the way down to widgetsmith or there's also sometimes app suggestions or just tap on widgetsmith wherever it is and then you can choose between the widgets again. So since we just created a medium widget, we're just gonna click on the medium one and click on add widget. Sometimes not the widget that you created pops up. So you're just gonna click onto the widget again, like this, and then click onto the style and then you can choose the different types of widget that you created. So I also created this one medium 2 which basically shows me the moon you can also um, by the way move it around if you want to i'm just gonna go ahead and delete it again because i don't need that and this is basically how you do your widgets very easy now let's move on on how you create your customized app icon so for this you're gonna need the app uh, shortcuts I, I believe this should be on your iphone if this is not on your iphone you can just download it off your app store if you're from germany by the way it's called kurzbefehle i tried to look for shortcuts i didn't find it so type in kurzbefehle if you're from germany go ahead and click on it and then go on to all shortcuts so here and then you're going to click on the plus on the top right of your screen click on add action and then on scripting and then on open app and then click on to choose and then choose the app that you want to design the icon for so in this example we're just going to go with youtube so just click on youtube and then click on to next and then add a shortcut name so i'm just going to go ahead and type youtube because this is the text that's going to appear underneath your app uh, since i'm just using youtube i don't want anything else to show up okay i already have a shortcut named youtube so i'm just going to go ahead and type youtube one for this example but you get what i mean right so then just click onto done and then go onto the shortcut again and click on the three dots and then click on the arrow on the bottom right and then click on to add home screen and now you have to click onto the icon with the blue frame and just on choose photo you can choose any pictures that you want i got my pictures from pinterest so i'm just gonna go ahead and use one of them but you can also use pictures of yourself or basically anything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this picture from Jin. You can adjust the size, crop it, whatever you want. And I think this is okay. Just choose, click on choose, and then click on to add. And now it should appear onto your home screen. So obviously you wanna replace the old YouTube, the red one, with the, your new icon. The gray one so what you're gonna do is click on the minus on your old app and 
click on to move to app library so that way this app won't get deleted because otherwise it's gonna get deleted now you have your customized youtube app so just click on it and there it is so if you want to go to all of your apps you can just go to your app library that's where all your apps are stored but i'm just gonna go ahead and delete this again because obviously i already did my home screen so you can do the same process for every app it does take a while but not too long it's very easy like once you get it um just be careful to not create a shortcut with like three apps so if you have like one app don't click on the add and then add another shortcut onto the same app always always go and create a new shortcut because obviously that way there's just gonna be one app instead of like three apps you know what i mean also another feature that i use if you in case you're wondering why i only have this little app you can hide your pages so go into edit home screen mode and then click onto the dots on the bottom and then you can hide your pages that's what i did so this was all the basics that you can do in order to redesign your home screen i hope this video helped you out somehow and have fun redesigning your home screen and thank you so much for watching this video i'll be back this week with another video with my regular upload but yeah until then i hope you have a nice week and i'll see you in my next video bye see you soon